good afternoon. Golf Mike Oscar Tango India. Well, Golf Mike Oscar Tango India, Sean Tang. Good morning, uh, and good afternoon. Now, pass your message. Um, information uniform 1016 and uh, request taxi VFR local to the west, please. Four persons on board. Tango India. Golf Tango India, Roger. Squawk 3763, taxi holding point Kilo 1 via taxiway Kilo. 3763 and Kilo 1 via Kilo Tango India. Tango India. The next weather will be doing about 5 or 10 minutes, but so the cloud based instrument just in the uh, in the tower here still showing around about 600 feet to the cloud base. Copy that, thank you. Fortunately, it's a lot better out west. Yeah. Thank you, Fox 3 Yankee. I can confirm the cloud base is well above 4 or 5,000 feet, uh, just about 5 to 10 miles to the west. Uh, Fox Janky, that's copied all that pass on break. Uh, Tango, did you copy that pilot report of the weather? Hey, sir, um, yeah, I said it should be a lot better out west, thank you. And we're off. And we're off. <laughs> yeah, I am excited. It's cool. I've never been in a, a, this small aircraft. So the smallest. Well, no, I was saying to David, because obviously you've done your skydiving. You've, it's not like you're unknown to these sorts of things. No, but it's. Um, it's a bigger aircraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much bigger. Well, not much, much, but it's definitely bigger. It sits, what, 15 people in the back? Okay, so, Paratex. Canopy closed and locked. Oil pressure. Yep, and the temperature is coming up. Vacuum suction is good. Mixture goes rich. Prop is push. 1,700. Runway 20, clear for takeoff, surface wind 220 degrees, 12 knots. Clear takeoff, 20, Tango India. Clear takeoff, 20, Tango India. Clear takeoff, 20, Full power, airspeed is increasing, full power developing. Looking for 65 knots, and away we go. Oh. Oh. Please straight up. No message. <laughs> oh, Mike's got the bucket already. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh, that's super cool. Do you want to phone Amy? Say look look south. <laughs> <laughs> Could do. Swoop. Alright, super cool. We have to see. So close, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Where you, where you? Where is your, where is your place? This is Lansing. So that so we can see the pier up ahead. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going over towards us. Okay. So we're cruising along the coast of the Bahamas. Osprey seven zero. We're ready for launch. Osprey seven zero. Lift line up. Graph two four. Surface wind is two one zero degrees at ten. Two one zero ten. Clear. Lift line up. Two four. Osprey seven zero. Lift line up. Four hundred feet's a good feet. Good height. <laughs> Keep running. This is very warm to the other day, right, Alex? Osprey 7 0 on reaching uh, 2 4. You are clear for takeoff on track. Surface wind 2 1 0 degrees 1 0 knots. 2 1 0 degrees 1 0 and clear for takeoff. Osprey 7 0. Tango India, basic service. Traffic is a helicopter just departed. We'll be routing northwest bound uh, IFR. And uh, we're heading westbound along the coast at uh, 500 feet. Got Tango with you, Roger. All right, see if you can see your house, mate. <laughs> cool. Um, by. Uh, yeah, That's Heen Road. That's Grand Avenue. Yeah, so I'll be inland. All fields over there. Yeah. 
So the sea level wouldn't have to rise too much for, for all this lot to disappear, would it? No, no, look at all the solar farms and stuff. Yeah. North of the big gone. Ah, so this is the Isle of Wight up ahead. It is. Just uh, climbing to a thousand feet over the water. The altitude here, on this side, have you got another altitude, altimeter? Yeah, there's one there, one oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's giving the GPS altitude. Okay, yeah. Ah, we're, we're over a thousand feet above the ground, so it's gone from yellow to blue. Handy having all these extra tools now. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah, for navigation, probably. 
Yeah, so how would you have known before the charts or? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, can I see that? That looks incredible. Yeah, a lot of information. We okay. are, uh, we're there. Amazing. This is an electronic chart, basically, with lots of other little gizmos as well. Well, and uh, most Ooh, importantly, what's useful is uh, showing other aircraft. Yeah. So, um, when you were climbing then, you just set it. Yep, set it to uh, vertical climb speed. Does it for you. Very smart. I don't, yeah, I don't have patrol to. boat. Yeah, two patrol boats. There's that two, way. is there? Yeah. Oh yeah, one up ahead as well. Where's that? Two patrol boats down on the left under the wing. wing. Yeah. Oh yeah. You think they're escorting a Russian warship? Right? Yeah, they're, they're probably the biggest thing we've got around here at the moment. So. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, 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 maybe, maybe they are Russian ships. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> it's an invasion if of you've been watching white. the news. Yeah. We can report back into the what? What are these circular blobs out here? These two seaports. Seaports. Oh, yeah, and one one defensive. of them is a hotel. Yeah, actually. my cousin really? went to stay yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, what, what are they? What were they before? They're, they're just, um, a, just seaports. Built as uh, protection. Just like a gun, the the, yeah, built in Victorian times to put guns on to keep the French out. Of course. Yeah. You're there till the end. Okay, so can you see the airstrip there? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That bridge, that's a very nice little airstrip. There's a, a pub on the left of this strip there called the Propeller Inn. <laughs> and you can go and land there, park up, have lunch at the Propeller Inn, and come right. back. And you can see there's a couple of little planes that have done that there. Lovely. Have you done that, I take it? Yeah, yeah, quite yeah, a few times. He's a regular at the Propeller. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. And that's a nice little beach down there as well. And you can walk from the airfield to that little beach, and there's there's a beach, hut cafe, and all that kind of stuff. Lovely. Oh. And this is Sandown, which is a uh, big city Isle of Wight. Right, now we're coming round the uh, sort of southernmost tip of the Isle of Wight, out to Catherine's Point. This is Ventnor, which is our classic Victorian seaside resort, Ventnor. Uh, it's got that funny little escalator going up and down the cliff there, oh, yeah. down to the seafront. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> you can oh. go round here. Good afternoon, Red Arrows. Red Arrows, Sombra Radar, good afternoon, scorecard in London QNH 1016. They are, the Red Arrows are trying to zero zero three with IDENT 1016. Copy, thank you, Red Arrows. They're going to head Red Arrows, you still have a basic service, but I will look to pass generic traffic information wherever appropriate. Basic service and copy that you'll pass generic traffic where appropriate, Red Arrows. We are currently 10 miles to the north northwest of Shoreham, heading east. Yeah, Red Arrows. Yeah. yeah. I struggle to keep up. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Very cool. Look at these. Look Red at those houses. Yeah. Red Arrows. Um, do a question about your RTB later on, if you can feel it. Yes, I'm sorry, Red Arrows. Red Arrows, uh, we understand you're going to route south of Big and Westbound. Is your intention to route as a nine ship VFR? Uh, the plan at the moment is that all nine will complete the show together at Headcorn, then we'll, uh, we'll depart west to south of Biggin, north of Gatwick, RTB Farnborough, and that will be about 1310 local. Red Arrows, roger. They were yeah. calling in sure of that. No, that's, I've got this on a different frequency. This is now um, Farnborough, Farnborough Radar. Cool. Right, that's understood. Thank you very much for letting us know. Uh, we'll right, just would, you like to, um, uh, would you we'll like to take control and have a little fly? Yeah, I love that. Okay. What I'm going to do is going to turn off the autopilot. And, um, it's very simple. It's people think, oh, they've got to grab it and like do a big thing. You haven't got to do that. It's fingertips. Yep. It's just fingertips and gentle pressure. It's more pressure than movement, actually. And pressure left goes left, pressure right goes down and up, and so on. So just fingertip control and just um, apply a little bit of pressure in whichever direction you want to go. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, it is very responsive. Yep, it is. And, uh, 
We're looking down there now at St Catherine's Lighthouse. And we're going to go along the coast towards the Needles. <laughs> so if you'd like to continue on at this height, which is 1,000 feet, so keep it around about approximately 1,000 feet within 100 feet or two. Yep. And, um, so where's uh, digital altimeter? There we go. Yep. And um, just go left and right and follow the coast, basically. Oh, that's super cool. <laughs> that's surprising how reactive it is, actually. Yeah. How do you know when you're level? This. Um, yes. That's the, what they call the attitude indicator, which shows you if you're rolling around. I see, yeah. uh, well, obviously, your main level indicator is your eyeball. It's the mark one eyeball. You're looking at the horizon. Well, I would throw yeah. a report if you do wish to climb, and obviously, as you pass through 1,500 feet, I would upgrade your service. Just bear in mind, head corner is outside my service area, so I'll just keep an eye on you. Right out there, copy. Thank you. Four cups. Barbara, hello. It's helicopter golf. Uh, Victor golf, Mike Charlie. Yeah, I'll do we'll another one with you. Over uh, there. Mike Charlie, if I'm ready to pass. So smooth flying this. Yeah.
thought of being able to pop out of Hawaii, land, have some lunch and then go to a beach and then jump back in your plane. Yeah. Amazing. Well, there's a few tests to do first. Look at this castle house. Yeah. Going under the wing now. Red arrows. Uh, north view position, five miles, Helimed traffic, right to left is the king. So oh, yeah. Red arrows, roger, understood. And uh, rule menus, still for 2 4 at Farnborough, arrival information here. Farnborough, where have we been to Farnborough today at any point? Um, Farnborough, no, that's, uh, that's way up um, just to the south of London. Oh, of course. So Osborne House actually is going to be coming up in a minute. You say it's Queen Elizabeth's summer uh, house? Uh, Victoria. Queen, Queen Victoria's, yeah. Oh, Mickey. so quickly. I mean, I'll, I'll put the lightest pressure on the stick and it'll just pull up. Yeah. Ah yes, I can just see, tell you what, just head over, see a huge Union Jack, head over cows, turn right over cows, and go and cut across the country a little bit, and you'll see Osborne House oh, to I your right. Oh, I see the yellow, the yellow stuff <laughs> poking through the trees, is it? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, it's a sort of a yellowy, orangey colour. Yeah, One o'clock. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, okay, I see it. Got two like turrets. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful place to visit, actually. Yeah, it is nice. Nice. Yeah, well, going over the top of it. Yeah. It's a brilliant place to see. Yeah, it is. Beautiful gardens. Walled garden. Let's check that. Yeah. Drop in, mate. <laughs> Crazy. I think I prefer flying to sailing. Well, you actually get places quite yeah. quickly. Whereas yeah. with sailing, you kind of fanny around for ages and ages. But yeah. not, not an awful lot happens, does it, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you go to the cows? Uh, Sailing festival is it or competition? Yeah, it's where they, which is that where, you, where you lap the lap the island. It's always going around the needles. Well, they do various sailing. Events. Okay, let's let's cut over towards Portsmouth now, and we'll cut over that side, and then we'll go along the coast there. I'm climbing as well. <laughs> well, there's a very posh yacht down there. One of these racing things with some oh, yeah. sail. Catamaran. Now, uh, we might be able to see how much of the Navy is in, in harbour today. Oh, brilliant. Uh, if we've got any Navy left, of course. <laughs> there, there isn't much left these days. No, there isn't. But they'll be in over there. Yeah. Wasn't the new aircraft carrier in there for a while? Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. I didn't actually see it, but... Yeah. The Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah. On my um, flight simulation software, I've got that aircraft carrier moored in the sea just out there. Have you? And yeah. I can uh, practice landing on it. Oh, nice. amazing. <laughs> We're going to need to uh, shore. This is a cool yacht. We'll Down on your right, Alex. A little bit of a lean on. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Come to Susie and Farmer and we'll speak to you later. That's beautiful. Do you want me to cut further or? That's fine. That's fine. Um, just head for the here that you see up ahead of you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's a very posh yacht. That's a proper racing yeah, yacht. Yeah, Ross. Something. I wonder when is uh, Cow's Week? It's probably not too long or far away. It's Clinica. Yeah, so that's um, that's a multi-million pound yacht, that one. that one. Can you see behind me? Proper racing that. yacht. With the red sail on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hang on, no, that one back there is like a pink rimmed thing. It's got yeah. a, looks like it's got a support yeah. boat. There's, there's a little bit of the Navy in. Oh, yeah, yeah. See if just a few oh, yeah. grey ships. They're usually here because it's cheaper to keep them here than to have them sailing around burning fuel. Yeah, yeah. There's a cruise ship in there. Probably just moored up, I should think. Oh yeah. 
someone's borrowed it for the weekend. <laughs> Lovely, this magneto line, or the magenta line, that's giving you a direct to Shoreham. That's it, Shoreham EGKA at Shoreham. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So if you were to follow that magenta line, you would end up in Shoreham. So it sounds about as the crow flies. Yeah, straight line. Absolutely. As we fly. That is the distance to it. 29.9 miles. Yeah. This is our ground speed, 134 knots, which is about 150 miles an hour. But we've got a tailwind now, because it's the westerly. So it's pushing us further. Yeah, it's pushing us along. You were telling me about... So, follow the coastline. coast along a little bit. David, you told me something about um, World War One pilots. Oh, yeah. About choosing fields. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I was obviously well, listening they, really um, well. The old World War One um, aircraft used to have engine failures regularly. Every, you know, every few days the engine would fail. Bloody hell. Every few and, days. Uh, yeah, and so they would be forced landing all over the place because just any field anywhere, basically. What's going on down here? It looks like there might be a swimming event down on the left below us. I can't see below. It's the one, one direction we can yeah. Yeah, I'm flying right over the top of them. Uh, yes. Get out of the blue stuff. Um, anyway, interrupted. Sorry, so they would have yeah. engine failure all yeah. the time. So they'd be going along and pull all up, you know. And, uh, okay, that field, no problem. There you go. Blimey. Sorted. Well, and also back then there would have been a lot more fields. Yeah. A lot more openness, open yeah. space. Still, not ideal. Well, I bet there was a few World War II pilots as well that ditched around here. Absolutely. So, Heaven forbid, say you were to have a heart attack right now. Uh, well, it's a good job you're so good at flying it. Well, yeah. no, <laughs> this is an easy bit. The tricky bit's the landing. Yeah. Uh, well, you just call into the radio. Pointed at the ground, but not too steeply. <laughs> and then just before you actually hit the ground, just easy it back a touch. Okay. That's the answer. But then how do you slow down? Uh, well, you, you, cut, you cut the throttle. Yeah. Oh, blimey, yeah. Cut the engine. Yeah, yeah. And down you go. Okay, yeah, fair. Well, I mean, okay, let go, just as yeah. just as way of rehearsal, en engine's off. I'm going to land in that field down there. Down we go, down we go. Is this gliding? Yeah, we're gliding there. Wow. Amazing. And we're going down gently. We've got our eye. There's a great big field with a white building at the end of it. Can yes. you see? Yes. And we're going to land in that field. We're not actually going to do it, of course. No, yeah, 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 yeah. So, no engine. We keep the airspeed at about 80 knots, 80, 90 knots like this. We've got our eye on that field. We're going to make it beautifully. Not absolutely no problem. Yeah, yeah. In we go. And uh, we're keeping at 80 knots. And when we get, I'll just pretend we're almost on the ground, just pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, and then you drop it down. There yeah. we go. Watch out for the power lines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Amazing. That's, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> I never, I never, I never well, realised no. you would, you would coast, you would uh, glide so well. Yeah, it's a, it, quite a good glider. It, it is. Glides yeah. at a, it's got a gliding ratio of about 10 to 1. So, uh, 1 down, 10 across. Yeah. Um, so if you're at a thousand feet, you can go ten thousand feet ahead. That's impressive. Uh, I didn't think it'd be that far. Yeah, which is a mile and a half. You know, you can yeah. I mean, it absolutely craps all over the helicopter story, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, straight down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so cut the engine. Oh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> okay, we're at yeah. ten thousand feet, so we have a distance of zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll be. On the helicopters, they're so noisy as well, though. Oh, dreadful thing. My well, this is this is very noisy because you've got a good. Uh, well, hopefully your noise reduction is working. Hopefully, if your little light is flashing, yes. um, which kind of helps, you know. What's the uh, cruising sort of ratios for your big jumbo jets? Or those uh, yeah, they're jets? all. Uh, any fixed wing aircraft is about a ten to one really? glide ratio. Yeah, yeah right well. around. Do they have to hit a certain ratio? Um, I don't know if they have to, yeah. but they just do. They just do. Yeah. Right, so there we go, we're back to normal again now. Uh, we're coming along Bogner, we can see the clouds coming down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> into, the, into the depths. 
Okay, so if you want to take over again now, I've got it about 800 feet, which is okay because it's below the cloud. A little bit of rain at the moment. See, yeah, you can see the rain on the Yeah, yeah. Okay, South do, do you want to take control? You, yep. have, you have control. Yeah. Just carry us along. Along the coast, past Bogner. I will call. All sure I'm in a minute when we get to Little Hampton. What are all these white sheets? Oh yeah, this is farming. Yeah, what poly, are they polytunnels? Yeah, they'll be either polytunnels or some could be solar farms. Oh, true, yeah. But yeah. Uh, they're probably polytunnels, by the looks of it. Oh, is that another airfield over there? Yeah. Uh, wow, well, that's a good question. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, that is Bogner Regis gliding site. Ah. Yeah, well spotted. Could you... Dip, dip in there. Will gliders um, uh, come up on the old radar as well? Uh, they should do. They should do. Should They'll do. have transmitters. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Thank you so much. Amazing up here. Yeah. Sure. Good afternoon again. Golf Mike Oscar Tango India. Golf Mike Oscar Tango India. Sure. Uh, Golf Mike Oscar Tango India. DR 500. Robin uh, returning to your field. Currently at the Littlehampton at uh, 800 feet, 1017 and uh, request joining in landing instructions, please. Uh, Golf Tango in the Russia, it's uh, runway 20 left, any news, uh, the uh, Shurum QNH 1016. Uh, do you want to um, fly along the coast and then join down in left hand uh, for runway 20 or you can make a crosswind join if you want, I've got no uh, traffic to affect you at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'll fly along the coast and uh, join down with left hand for 20 if I may please. Yeah, you got a basic service anyway, and uh, report when you're downwind? Uh, we'll report downwind, thank you. My future residents. Yeah. Yeah. i make it big one day. One day. Clouds are pretty dramatic. Yeah. Singing so close underneath. Should take it to Arundel. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. See it the distance there. Oh, the castle, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. Wow. Wings are wing. Pretty cool. I'm surprised how reactive it is. So we want to just dip down under the cloud here. Had a text from the French girl. Of uh, altitude, are you thinking? Uh, 500. Yeah, 500 here. We're going to be doing what we call uh, a low-level circuit, or a low-level bad weather circuit. Normal circuits, 1,000 feet, which is going to go around at 500. Okay. Underneath this stuff. Yeah. Well, the cloud has dropped. We're, we're six miles away. Yeah. Six miles on that. This is pointing to the airfield. And this is the airfield here. And I've got a, a, an approach path. Start at the bottom and build up instead of going straight for the, <laughs> the Spitfire. Yeah. 
might go for a 747 actually. <laughs> It's like a hovercraft at the end of that. Um, they've got the yeah. car park here, Mike. They're building um, all the food stores. Well, that's circular one. The yeah. flat bit. Yeah. See that, Mike? Me? Yeah, yeah. They're on the painted car park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're building, they're going to have. It looks inviting. The sea looks nicer at Worthing than it does elsewhere on the coast. Has the cloud base dropped? Yes. Yeah, it has it looks since we yeah, since we took off. It's 500 feet now. Not quite the thousand we were looking for. Uh, well, we were so lucky with the Isle of Wight. Yeah, well it was okay back there, which is the landing as well. But how dense is the cloud above? Would you? Uh, I mean, I'm not asking it's you to layers, go there. You know, it's in layers. This is a, just a thin little layer here. And then there's another layer above, and so on and so on. So would you have maybe a pocket of a, a hundred feet or so, and then there'd be yeah, the next? Yeah, probably. Scott Tangwind is just passing south of the field, and will be joining downwind at a low-level circuit height of 500 feet. Scott Tangwind, that's understood. Uh, you can report then on final number one. Report final number one, Tangwind, yes. Yeah. So, that's where we're going. Oh, there's Martin College, I see. Friends, Martin moves. Armour checks, brakes are off and the carriage down locked. T's and P's are green. Max on both buses are on. Oh, no, is the white arc. Full flap goes down. Low level circling. Land is your only two zero. You are close. Land two one zero. Green eleven zero. Clear land two zero. Just to say that um, this should be fine. But if I'm not happy, I shall be going around. Okay, and don't be alarmed if that happens, but I think we're going to be okay. There we go, very nice. Amazing. Superb, so <laughs> Round of applause. That's, yeah. That's much better than most jetliners I've been on. Your uh, left alpha to uh, row 6 again, please. Uh, row 6 again, thank you. A very slick landing. Yeah, fresh. Very fresh. That was what they call a, an RAF Spitfire approach. You know, <laughs> circling around and just <laughs> dropping it down rather than the usual big square. Because the usual big square would be up to 1,000 feet. Is that what you're sort of meant to do or you'd rather yeah. do? Well, yeah, the, the standard, I mean, if we'd had good weather, we'd have done a standard approach at a thousand feet. Why? Um, because that's the I normal that's height. That's what you should be, okay. Yeah, whereas we, we came creeping in at 500. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's and cut it really short, you know. Yeah, but that's because of the cloud cover. Because cloud cover, yeah. yeah. Seamless though. Much cooler anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, that was superb. Thank well, you thanks so much, David. Well, thanks for taking us up. Great. Well, pleasure. Yeah. I've, I've enjoyed it. It's been great. It's been superb. Mike. Is that a Mustang? That one looks like it's been gaffed the one. Too, the American one? Yeah, that I think is probably a Harvard. A Harvard. Um, the US Navy one. Yeah. What's the noise? Seven. Cool. Yeah, going, going plane shopping would be a fun thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah. I yeah. think I prefer this. To do you ever peruse? Oh, I'm forever looking at the adverts for yeah. used planes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you said chopper shopping. No, plane shopping. 
Although looking at these World War Two ones, like you can you can appreciate now how little you could actually see from down below. Whereas this one's got a massive yeah, great canopy. It's so good the view. Yeah. Because those canopies will come to here, so you would yeah yeah yeah. Now we're near as good a visibility. Yeah. And you're being chased by something trying to shoot you out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Yeah. Oh, as soon as you go up in a play like that, you're anyone's 